Sunday, tradition in Philadelphia returns to the Kimmel Center for the for Performing Arts later this week. It's a Philly Pops Christmas spectacular sounds of the season. And joining us this morning is principal cellist Uli Bukaler and Frank Giordano, the president of the Philly Pops. Thank you guys both so much for being here this morning. We were just talking how you look so festive for the season. I love it. And we're talking about a really special show. So, Uli, talk about what's in store for this series of concerts because I know that Broadway's Mandy Gonzalez is back this year, right? She's back this year yes, for the fourth amazing. for the fourth time. Love it. And I'm so pumped up for this show. <laughs> we're having old favorites there, you know. Oh. I'll be home for Christmas and, of oh. course, the glory, the sing-along and everything. You know, cast of thousands, I would say, 300 at least. We have on stage between the boys' choir and, and um, you know, African uh, Episcopal chorus from uh, St. John Thomas. They're raising the roof there with their gospel music and everything, so it should be a great show. I really hope I'm going to see lots of you guys out there because we're going to have so much fun on stage, and I know you will too. It's going to be a great Oh, look, we have some clips from that past concert. years. It's just beautiful. I mean, this is such a special show. It's going to be so wonderful. And Frank, the Comcast NBC Universal I'll Be Home for Christmas Salute is another holiday <laughs> tradition that's happening this Friday. Yes. Tell us about this special event. This coming Friday, our first Christmas show, our first of ten shows, uh, we don't sell any tickets. We give 2,000 tickets away to the military and first responders so they can come and enjoy the show with their families. Uh -huh. So it's, it's a wonderful time for us, and we've been doing this now for uh, <clears throat> 11 years. That's wonderful. What a fantastic way to give back. And Uli. And it's reaching all across the world, right? Um, it's reaching all right. the servicemen across the we'll be uh, streaming. network. So it's oh. reaching a lot of, lot of we'll people. We'll be streaming on the American... Um, uh, Forces, Forces, Forces Network. Network. Oh, that's fantastic. So no matter yeah. where the service men and women are, they can oh, tune see, in. Yeah, 500,000 wow. uh, overseas in so. 24 time zones. Wow. Mm. What a really nice way to help them send a little love the holiday season yeah. and a little love from home. That's really, really wonderful and really nice. And this is a very bittersweet time for the Pops. You've recently announced the organization. It's the final season for such an iconic organization. Tell us about this. Well, I think it's very poignant because really it's been part of the Philadelphia cultural scene for 30 plus, I mean, for wow. more than that, but I've been playing since 1990s. So for me, it's been uh, 32 years on the stage playing these wonderful uh, good, good Cheer shows. And I don't want to believe that this is the end. I think things, miracles can still happen. It's Christmas, miracles Aww. will happen. So don't give up hope. But for now, please do come to these shows because they might be the last ones, but hopefully they may not. <laughs> and only as a so. performer, what does this mean to you guys to have this, for the performers, to have this coming to an end? Well, it's of course very sad because we love the synergy with yeah. the audience and, uh, you know, the energy on stage is, is just uh, amazing and the, the feel, the, the feedback between public and us is something you can't, you know, we're going to miss it, we're going to miss it, so yeah. come to this one so you at least, you know, get one last <laughs> chance. Plans are being oh, developed. Oh, okay. Um, there will be Pops repertoire Great. Uh, performed in the city. Okay. Um, things will continue that we've started our Pops in Schools program, right. and <clears throat> and uh, we, we have other things. So we're working on some plans now, and we're working on those plans together with the uh, <clears throat> POKC, Philadelphia Orchestra Kimmel Center. Well, I'm glad to hear that because it really is such an iconic organization. I mean, yep. it's just beautiful. The shows are fantastic, and we're looking forward to this Philadelphia holiday tradition. For more details about the Philly Pops' spectacular sounds of the season, head to the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.